State Saturday kickoff. Welcome to Greenville to Dowdy Ficklin Stadium and Bagwell Field. And you're watching the American Conference on ESPN of the day. Let's call it the Backyard Barbecue as East Carolina's Pirates host their friends from Raleigh, North Carolina State. And Naheem Hines for NC State, who is back deep. One of the fastest players in college football. He's an All-American track star for the Wolfpack. Uh, I don't know if he's going to return that one. He wisely will take a knee. We'll get a touchback. Scott, the tailback, fake to him. Going to take a deep shot down the far sideline, and the catch is made, and they go inside the 10-yard line. That's Jimmy Williams. He's down at the 9. First down and goal, East Carolina. Now they go with a little bit of a, almost a Statue of Liberty type play, but that went absolutely nowhere. Plowman, one for two last week in the win. And one for one today. So the long pass play to Jimmy Williams sets up the 23-yard field goal. And now they do a little reverse and a pass coming out of it. And wide open. Down to the 35-yard line. They had another receiver. Gavin Locklear threw it. This is also from 45 yards out. Regardless of his kicking it, the distance is there, but the accuracy is not. This time, Quay Johnson out on the flat. And he'll be brought down immediately. No game. They've run that play a few times. He'll keep it. Run into his own man. Bounce off of that and break free to the 20 summers. He'll score! Touchdown, Pirates! Twenty-seven yards for James Summers. He motions out. And they give to Hines. And Hines, be careful. He is fast. And if he had broken that tackle, it would have been an interesting race. ECU blitzes up the gut. It's picked up pretty nicely. Throw into the... Oh, look out. Yeah, here come the flags. Stephon Lewis was the receiver hit. Now, he got up very quickly. That's Bobby Fulp, number eight. Yeah. So foul. Clearly. Targeting defense number eight. You see, oh, he leapt and he went to the shoulder and head area. Yep. That's Paul Zukas is the replay official. Just to remind everybody, this is an ACC on-field crew. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number eight is disqualified for the remainder of the game. Now, this is only for this game. This one will be 43. Low snap, handled well. And again, you can tell by the student section, you don't even have to look at the officials, the students will tell you that he missed that one. Screen, that means James Summers is in the quarterback position. Nelson just sort of stands there while Summers is forced to ad lib, and he is tackled for a loss by multiple Wolfpack defenders. It'll be second down and a dozen. Plotting that move. <laughs> now they'll try this again with Johnson. East Carolina has run this play several times, but the Wolfpack have yet to be fooled by it. And they get it again for no gain. A lot of motion here, and uh, nothing. In fact, Philip Nelson will lose a yard. They motion Scott out of the backfield. They fake it to Scott. They want to come back the other way, and Nelson's going to add limb, and he's going to get a first down. I think he wanted to go to Stephen Bag at the yep. tight end. He was covered, and Nelson Raywell, not races, but he gets five. Yep, again, they just they waggle. They boot out away from the formation, and Nelson does a really nice job. Good things and scored a lot of points. Look out here, though. Nelson in trouble, and he's hit hard back at the 26-yard line. A lot of pressure from up the middle. Arius Moore. So this will be a season long run. Tell you what, I'm using the student section as my marker, and they all put their hands up. So it's good. The cannon goes off, and East Carolina builds their lead. Or from High Point, North Carolina. He'll get it. And he's hit immediately and just dumped by Mike Myers. High and a great catch in the Pirates territory. A fabulous catch that time by Jalen Samuels. He'll block this time. And a handoff to Gillespie. And he'll break to the 30. 25-20. Gillespie lowers his shoulder. Still goes. Touchdown, NC State. What a run. That's, that's when you say, Dave, 
the runner is not going to be denied. And this is an interesting little battle. As that pass is picked off. Trying to force it into Jones in the one-on-one -on -one coverage. The catch is made by Jack Tocho, and it's going to be the first turnover of the ball game by the Pirates. Now Tocho's a veteran presence out at corner. Good pocket that time. Trying to get a touch pass to Lewis. What a beautiful play. A perfect throw and an over-the-shoulder grab by Stephon Lewis. Th this is just a beautiful throw and catch, and... and Ryan Finley realizes that Lewis has a step on the defender. And the handoff to Samuels on the sweep. He'll roll right in. Well, another well-executed play and perfectly blocked. And Samuels in the red zone, not surprisingly. And the Wolfpack, for the first time today, has the lead. And the extra point is rejected. This, boy, it's been a tough day for kickers. The four-yard gain of the 29-yard line. They go to the reserve running back, Devin Anderson, and Anderson breaks free. Anderson to midfield, into Wolfpack territory, and then around the 44-yard line, and that gets this Greenville crowd jacked up again. For Anderson. Now they go with Summers at the Wildcat, and this time the middle of that Wolfpack defense. We talked about how that is a strength for this team. You saw Justin Jones, number 27, and do we hear his name a lot when we talked to the Pirates coaching staff yesterday? Boy, they had a lot of respect for that interior line, and Justin Jones, you know, 6'2", 300-pounder out of Georgia. You know, he's only a 455 bench and a 600 squat, but look at how good North Carolina State's defense has improved under Dave Doran. Your opponent that NC State. Anthony Scott, the wheel right out of the backfield. He'll walk in. Touchdown, ECU. They take the lead back. Back. He had a great touchdown run for the Wolfpack earlier. Finley has all time to survey the field, and Lewis is loose, and he'll make the grab at the 45 and break free. Lewis to the 20. One man with a chance to beat him. He can't do it. Touchdown, NC State. 80 yards. Well, you see the explosive. They'll hand it off, and down goes Scott. He is not going to escape the clutches of Andreas Bryant, number 91, a sophomore from North Charleston, South Carolina. Well, they got it off with one second to spare. They tunnel screen, and the Pirates are waiting. Short gain. Ball comes out. East Carolina recovers. Trevon Simmons picks up the loose football. No punt. Instead, it's first and ten, and we're even in turnovers at one apiece. Nice snap. This one missed wide left. So the penalty had no effect. It has been a just a, an odd day for both kickers. Played in a handful of games. Poppins right through. This is Days. To the 20, and they'll catch him from behind at the 15-yard line. The touchdown saving tackle by Trevon Simmons. Into the red zone after 55 yards of the senior Matt Days. Well, the explosiveness of Matt Days inside zone handoff, and then he just hits the crease. Got a couple nice blocks. Val Bambard in for the field goal. And Connor Haskins missed a couple in the first half. And it's going to be a fake. And it's not going to get there. East Carolina takes over. Terrell Richardson wasn't buying what the Wolfpack were selling. And off to Scott, number three, and get back to the line of scrimmage, and that is all. Touchdown. Nelson steps into it, that throw. It's a bit of a wobbler, comes out right around the mark. As Scott, a ball comes out loose. It's still loose, and it should belong to the Wolfpack. It does. They rush four again. Short route underneath. And and all of a sudden, Hill also with the hit jars right. the ball out. Street with the fumble recovery. Boy, he gets hit. Watch, watch BJ Hill for a kick here. And a make. And the Wolfpack pads their lead to 23 to 19. They turn the mistake into three points. 
Pressure coming from the edge. Nelson hangs in, throws wide open. Williams into NC State territory, and that is a clear-cut first down. Nelson, 212 yards, 24 for 34, 25 of 35, and some yardage down the sideline goes Quay Johnson. He'll have a first down. As long as everything's going well, they get a good chance. They pitch it the other way. Got some good blockers down there for number seven, Zay Jones. He hasn't caught a ton of passes, but he has an impact there on that little pitch to the 15-yard line and a first down. The Pirates. Summers will keep it. Running to the right, gets a key block. He'll get inside the 10, inside the 5, and inside the end zone! Great guys in with you. Well, don't quarterbacks always do that when they run? Man, I'm telling you now. He runs. That's Arius Moore, number 58. He's dragging five yards into the end zone. We'll see you. Gillespie bounces it when he didn't have a hole. He makes one up and down the sideline. He goes for his shoulder out of bounds by Deshaun Benton, number six. And Finley keeps it. He'll score! Perfect zone read by Ryan Finley. And the Wolfpack is back in front. That's just great football right there. Finley does a great job. He reads it. The end collapses. And he gets in for the score. The time. Jones with six catches, 58 yards. A delayed handoff. And look out. You almost lost a running back that time. Darian Roseboro, the sophomore from Lincoln to North Carolina. Listen in. Boy, no one touched him. No one got a hat on him. Once again, Anderson checks out. Nelson is empty in the backfield. Fires. Jones, first down. And a little extra. So he's coming on now in this quarter. You're going to your best receiver, Zay Jones. To the ground. To the 20. Anderson. And he is shoved out of bounds by Josh Jones for a first down. To move the sticks ahead for the Pirates. And this time Anderson will not move anything. He'll be dumped at the 15-yard line. Anthony Scott checks in and checks out of the backfield. Catches the swing pass. Gets a block from Baggett. Oh! Wow! At the 11-yard line. Just got popped. Watch him. He lowers it. Man. But they, I was going to say that they've made all their yards outside the hash marks. I want to give credit where credit is either due or blame is due. Underneath for Jones, and the pass was a little off. Flag is down. Mike Stevens in coverage. Pass interference is the call. And, and again, Zay Jones, great body positioning. He holds his ground, and he makes Mike Stevens come through him. Coming up. It's Scott again. It's Scott in the end zone. Touchdown, ECU. Out of spread and really kept the ball away from that interior of the Wolfpack. This is a funky little kickoff and it's misplayed by Hines and he gets it at the five yard line. That ball had a weird spin on it and down he goes at the three. Finley rolls right, steps into that throw. Beautiful pass and the catch is made by Jalen Samuels and it's a first down to the 25 yard line. Finley, long throw, drop, didn't complete. It hit Samuels in the hand, but he had company on that play. He was well covered by Pat Green. It'll be fourth down and 13, and the Wolfpack will send out the punt team. To the ground, Anderson made the first miss, made the second miss, and fights for a first down. NC State had a couple of cracks at him and couldn't bring him down. 13 catches today. They go to the ground, and the pack is waiting. No gain. Got Devin Anderson next to you. He gets it, and they'll be brought down short. It'll be fourth down to the 35-yard line. The Wolfpack bring the pressure. Kick is quick. Low line drive. Cherry, 35-yard line, and he's brought down immediately. Great coverage. That was Chris Love. Drops it off to Days underneath, and man, he caught it, but you could just see Corey Sargent Running up, second down and eight. Under 30 seconds as Finley throws long catch. Is he in bounds? Looks like it.
Underneath, wide open, too high for days. Clock will stop with 13 seconds to go. It's second and 10. And perfect execution. Yep. It's going to be very hard to get a field goal here. Finley in trouble. Goes underneath. Days drops it. Tried to make the one-handed catch. Third down. Eight seconds remaining. Time for all of that. Finley. ECU stunts, Finley throws, middle of the field, caught by Lewis. He's in field goal range, Lewis at the 25-24 yard line. The clock has run out, and let's see if the officials call this game or not. I believe this game is over.